Alright, shall we get underway here? It's gonna be a short one today. I've got so much other stuff going on. But I want to get the weekly challenge in. Let's try and... Oh my god, it's all green. Life Farmer's Prestige is increased by 50. Fine. Boss on support per trade route. Fine. Extra technologies. Yeah, sure. It seems fine. We'll play it on 28. We've won games on 28. We're not afraid of 28 anymore. Let's see what we can get done here. God, I love space so much. And with plus one support per trade route, like, I think space is looking pretty good here. It's just nice extra support for us to grab. Alex or Tariq. So goal is terraform. We're starting with tritium, we're starting with water. That's pretty good. Extra water production is kind of interesting. Breach aquifer is also kind of interesting. I think I would rather take Alex here. I think having the nitrates boost is going to be better for building things like plant spreaders than doing water production with Tariq. So let's go with that. What's up, Ixie? You just got out of World of your World? It's like 1 p.m. Is it like EU hours? C hours? Go here, go here. Go here. Go here. Oh, you're playing with Fiddy. Gotcha. Okay. And then trade route's not assigned. Hey, we can knock this out so unbelievably quickly because we started with the Tritium mine. Like, do nothing but explore Tritium, and we'll be in great shape. Hab module, lab, or tuber farm. What are we going to be closest to? Unclear. Like, so we have small nitrate, small nitrate, but we're at zero. We could do nitrate silicate, because we're also going to want these tritiums, and that would give us a lab. Yeah, I think a lab is going to be the better bet, because we want to explore here, 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 and hopefully that gives us all the stuff that we need. But we also just want to work our way back up to this next tritium thermal generator. Plus one trade route. I think I kind of need to take robots here, as bad as I want that other thermal generator, because I want to expand here and I want to take one of these empty tiles. So it's unfortunate, because I'd love to just finish out my generators, but I don't think I can afford to. Now I've got one more trade route now. I just keep putting it into the trade ring. Okay, that's my third generator. Now we're good for a while. We don't really need to take any more of them. Exploration satellites, beautiful. Another robot hub is kind of interesting. Another lab is kind of interesting. I think I actually need to take the lab. That should let us build one. They're going to go like here and here and here, probably. We'll keep this open for food. Keep our tritium up. Starting to GPU software for streaming? What do you mean? For, like, setting up encodings? Okay, I don't need you. I'll take the water, because we're about to set this mine up. I need titanium, so that I can get this robot hub going. Grab you. Grab you. You come here, and then just one more tile here. Okay. Bus station seems really good right now. Let's us reach a little bit further if we need to. I'll take a large hint of titanium that also happens to have some tritium attached to it. You're done in two turns. We can just build you. So now we've got water generation for our greenhouse farms. Would be nice to explore a bit of water as well, though. We'll see. And then our technology choice. I'm a big fan of improved robotics. I think it's quite good. I don't love high capacity research computers. Water income per ocean level is fine. Cheaper rock destruction is fine. 
Improved space flight is kind of funny, and urban planning is also pretty good. I think we do that. And then do I need even more power in a Highland style? I don't think so. I think I'm fine just hanging out with these two tritium thermal generators, so why don't you give me another greenhouse instead? I'd really love to explore water here. If there's a large hint of water available somewhere. I don't think there is, so I guess just give me a small hint of water that also has titanium attached to it. And then give me more hints of water. We'll get ready for a second city to get founded. You're not that interesting. You're not that interesting. You're a little interesting. You're a lot interesting. It's too bad your connectivity is really bad, but you've got a nitrate deposit here. I'd love to get down here as well. That gigantic titanium deposit would be beautiful to work. Hmm. I'll scan for another turn or two, and we'll see what turns up. I'd also like to get this lab down to get our science production up. We'll probably go there, and then you'll be a bus station. Bus station would probably reach that silicate deposit. No, it wouldn't. We could reach the black sand. We could reach a highland tile. Man, but this city spot would be so... I mean, it's a flat plane, so it kind of sucks, but large hint of titanium, large hint of nitrates, large hint of silicates. This is a really interesting spot. I might do it anyway and take the support hit just because of how many resources are out there. Hypothetically. So let's import water. Export a food. Export a power. It's not a great idea right now. You have an AMD card. You're using the Radeon software to stream. Oh, you're not streaming through OBS or anything like that? That makes sense, then. Give me extra trade routes. Give me... Yeah, I want to explore me out here. It's a normal titanium deposit. That's not super exciting. But I think I want this to be a city. I, I do think I still want that to be a city. There's going to be so many resources out there for us to grab. And then next turn I explore here, get nitrates. We can build a second lab. We can start to get some of these science projects off the ground. It would be nice to get urban planning up before we found that city. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine. Thirteen. Fifteen. So we can do this next turn. I would be willing to exchange silicates for that. I would be willing to exchange water for that, because we can just trade for more water later. Alex, you've done great work here. When you found a new city, you gained two support income. It's possible, but I think I would rather just have cheaper bacteria spreaders. You can come here, for sure. And then we need to explore here. We can cash you in, and we can build you. And then next turn, I think we have satellite up. So next turn we can satellite this, and then we can found this. Which is going to involve bringing in five more water. Six, seven, eight, nine. We could also build a tritium thermal generator next turn. And we could export a lot of food to do that. Because we only need to be at 30. This seems alright. Pick one of those up, because eventually we'll want to build one. It's a canyon. It's not bad. So people are going to be really unhappy living here. Because it's a plains, the radiation is bad, it's just an unpleasant place all around. As far as configurations go, if we're doing full terraforming, I'd love to have four more tritium thermal generators here, just generating power, which means these are going to be noxious spots, these are going to be noxious spots, these are the only four places that I can put residences, so we'll probably just have to go ahead and do that. And then I would love for you to have a bus station, because you're going to become a very large place. Mine, I should not do it in that order. You should be the mine first. 
and then you can come down here for a canyon view. And then you can also come to here. It's a crystal cave. It's two silicates per turn. I think I'd rather protect natural heritage there. But we're also going to need to dike that really quickly. Because it's going to flood at water one. Now what do I want to trade for next? Three, four, nine. I'd like to get a tritium thermal generator up. I'd like to get this greenhouse farm up. I'd like to get this resonance station built. I can afford to throw all of my food away. I can't afford to throw a titanium away because I need it for that nitrates deposit. I could throw the nitrates out. I could do that. And then I'd really like to bring in extra silicates to get this resonance station off the ground. Because by the time we're done building these two tritium thermal generators, we should be at 22 silicates and then we can double our power output. Sure. Greenhouse farm, hab module, tritium thermal generator. I think I take the tritium thermal generator here. And then I think I take a speculative terraforming plant. Because we know we're going to need to do it. You need a robot hub relatively soon. You're just a normal silicates deposit. That's fine. What are we doing with this turn? Well, it would be really nice to continue building tritium thermal generators. This puts us at one. That puts us at eight. If we explore tritium next turn, we could build another one, which we can do. It's not that bad. Trade one food, trade two science, trade a water, trade a nitrate, trade a titanium, trade a power. It's not ideal, but I just want to rush these out as fast as possible so that our power production becomes fine as quickly as possible. I'll take cyanophyta. I'll take... Probably need to take an entertainment center to put here once we can afford it. Explore the tritium spot because that lets you build one of these. And then we're at 18. 19, 20, 21, 22. Next turn we can build Resonance Station. We want to keep bringing in Tritium so we can build this last one. And then we also would like to... Well, we can't. We're, we're bringing in everything we need to. I think instead we should probably do this then. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So next turn we can build Robot Hub plus Resonance Station as long as we don't touch our power. You're going to be gone. You're going to be gone. All of you are going to be gone. You can trade one of you. And trade one extra science. That should be okay. And then you're really important. So you come down here. We're at six power per turn. And that's not where we're going to be done. I'd like to go seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, because then we can just put down as many terraforming buildings as we want. But for the short term, I think that's going to be fine. A robot hub could probably come here. And that lets us get to this crystal cave, and it also lets us work towards that silicates deposit. There's also a large hint of tritium out here, which is a little interesting. And then Misha can't explore this turn, but that's fine, because I actually kind of want to import life forms. Should also start saving up for this bacteria spreader. Science is going to become important here pretty soon. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five. I think we might just rush the bacteria spreader now. Like, what else are we really trying to save up for? Not a lot. Power's at plus six. We can get rid of a water, get rid of a nitrate, get rid of a food, get rid of some silicates, get rid of some nitrates. Economy is still kind of a mess. We need to be producing more stuff than we're currently producing. But it is nice to have these eight trade rates for flexibility over when we actually build this stuff. And if we just keep dumping everything into power, eventually power will be the thing that we can export for free. I think we're fine. We're, we're paying it forward right now. I don't really need any of these. Just turn it into a science. Does this exploration choice matter? 
Uh, getting titanium would be pretty good, so I'm gonna say yes. Because then we can dike this. And I... Mm, Maybe we should just mine it. Like, our support's actually fine because of how much support we're getting from our trade routes. So you come down here. We can put you down over here. A little extra support never hurt anyone. Reconfigure your trades again. We're at 12. That will be at 17. I'd rather build a bacteria spreader before the research center just because it's the terraforming path. And then, what else do we want to start working towards? Uh, titanium. So that I can build a CO2 factory. And then what are my exports? A food, a water, a nitrate, a tritium. It probably shouldn't be power yet. I don't think I can afford to turn power into our dump stat just yet, so let's do something like that. And what are we looking for in terms of cards? I'd love to pick up another robot hub so that I could get, like, I don't know, here, here, or here, or there. Would all be pretty nice. Plus one radiation globally. That's not great, but it's survivable. Give me another lab. Give me a bacteria spreader here. Because we have the CO2 factory in hand, I'm actually going to do Cyanophyta instead. You might disagree with that, but that's okay. We can afford to dike this again. And then I think I kind of just need to import a lot of titanium. Because we're going to need the titanium to build the mine there as well. Also, this would be a sick spaceport now that I look at it. You've also got a tritium deposit, though. Hey, you're gonna get flooded. You should just be a spaceport, because you'll get a free tritium root, a free nitrate root, a free silicates root. You should just be a trade. You should be a spaceport. You should just be a spaceport. Next thing to work on. I think I want to get the CO2 factory up, so it's going to be importing titanium. Get rid of food, get rid of two science, get rid of water, a nitrate, get rid of two silicates. And then I guess just explore here. It's going to be an empty tile, but that's fine. At least you know where it is now. We have a Mars quake, we have a terraforming building. I would love to take a terraforming building. Can't repair either of those, but I think our support's okay to just let it ride for a little bit. And then we delete you. And I think we're just going to put a bunch of hideous terraforming buildings back here, where they can't really bother anyone. Now, I would love to find power, but I think finding power is going to be a tall ask. So, why don't you give me water instead? Any big hints of water around? No. Any small hints of water around? Yeah. Good enough. If I could get a greenhouse farm up, it would just kind of be one more thing to trade, which would be useful. Six, seven, ten. Spend the rest of your imports on science. Get rid of a food. Get rid of a nitrate. Get rid of a titanium. Get rid of a tritium. Get rid of three power. And then I would like to reduce the spread rate of Cyanophyta. Instead of exploring. I don't care about any of these. Give me my second water. Don't need to trade for water anymore. Instead, we're looking for science. 11, 14. I'd like to get this mine up. That's going to need power. Could also get you up for a little extra support. So you need power. We'll be at 14 next turn. No, we won't, because I'm going to spend some this turn on exploration. We'll be at 12 next turn. I'm not going to be able to build this and a 
silicate mine in the same turn. But the silicate mine is more important. That's the one we need to build first, because it's two silicates that we can trade. So you're done next turn. Could also build you next turn. Could get rid of some of you. Get rid of some of you. And then let's start preparing. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can't get rid of you. I need to do that. Let's start preparing for spaceports to show up. If we just bank a bit of tritium, then we will be ready when we can actually build them. Give me two silicates per turn. That's an important one. Give me a research center here. Next turn, I think we're looking at a CO2 factory. So four, five, nine, seven, eleven, twelve. Trade, trade, trade. And then bring in two tritium. Actually, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, yeah, why don't you just import a life form this turn instead? That's fine. We're also waiting for space project space projects to show up, which should start happening here pretty soon. And then we can start getting some water going, and that'll be good news. Power boost, we're still kind of in that neighborhood. Ocean dike expertise, we're actually also kind of in that neighborhood. Like, how sick would it be if we got cheap dikes for here, here, and here? Because we know we're going to use those tiles. That actually might end up being pretty good. Interesting. What are we debating on for the resource collection? Prospecting towards plus one of every resource. This is plus two science. I actually think Yana's just like better here, period. One of the rare cases where he's actually going to be really good. And then let's build everything before we get too complex with it. You're probably a robot hub. No, no, no. You're building a CO2 factory this turn. You need to get heat going. Okay. What else are you looking for? I don't really know what else I'm looking for right now. I guess another... We should probably, like, found another city soon, but Misha Colony is still growing. If I explored a nitrate, I could actually build a lab this turn. That's kind of useful. Let's grab that, then. And then do you have space for a lab? Are you ever going to get a bus station? I don't think you need one. So I think we can just fill this spot in with a lab. And then maybe repair these so that we can go back to having positive support. Link nitrogen factory? No, not really. Power breathing colony? Or power breathing center? Sure, why not? We're not doing anything else with that spot, so you might as well fill it in. Next turn, I would like to build a robot hub to get this tile and this tile. That's going to need six power. We're ready to do that. It's going to need two titanium. And then I'd also like to start working on improved space light conditions. I want this project to exist before we build a spaceport here. So we should import science. And then we'll do export, 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 export. And then I can research a project. So we take you. I don't think it's that important to finish you right now, though. I think it's more important to be ready to snap build a spaceport if we see one. Okay, cold is also bad. I mean, it's a good thing we're working on terraforming parameters, otherwise this place would suck to live in. I can't not take a bus station. We're already spreading cyanophyta and we're short on water as it is, so an oxygen factory isn't going to do a lot for us. We already have one research center up. It'll be nice to have a second one, but I think when we found this next city, it's going to be way more important to just have a bus station ready to go. So you're going to come down here. You're going to grab this silicates deposit, and you're going to grab this tile, which is eventually going to be a spaceport. And then we're going to need a lot of titanium to dike all of this. So we're going to need one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight titanium to do everything we want to do next turn. We'll just do that import. We'll do that export. And then we have no power. Unlucky. I think we're just going to be converting you into support next turn. Skyscraper, it's too early. We don't have enough water to make a hydroponics farm work. We don't have enough food to make a waste incinerator work. I guess we're just taking another bacteria spreader, but our science is spoken for in improved space flight conditions already. Build me a silicate mine. Finish this dike. Dike that three times. We're also going to need to get this tile eventually before it floods. Well, I guess we don't need it before it floods. We could just build a water mine on it. This is the important one to dike up, because otherwise we would destroy our spaceport. And then we got to find another city location. So I, I would love to be out here. I'd love to get this gigantic titanium deposit. We'll see if that's possible. And then we don't need to do any of these imports anymore. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 20 lets us build improved space light next turn. And then we can just kind of focus on finishing this project up. I'd be willing to export two silicates for that, because I should kind of start hoarding food for our next city. Here's the spaceport we were waiting for. Now we can't quite build it, but it was a principled thing that we were going for, and we can just explore for hints of tritium to get to it a little bit faster. So there's 13. We want to reconfigure this so this can get built next turn. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That'll be good. 13, 14, 15. And then if we just do like this. And then give me like an extra water and get rid of one power. Should be fine. Oh, I have like a bunch of other exports. There we go. So we'll be able to build the spaceport next turn on those rocky planes. Gets us two free trade routes that we can use for imports. Also gets us two trade routes overall. We should be in great shape. I would love to take lightweight hull structures. Mega structure design is not great, though. Neither of these are great. Neither of those are great. Okay, well, that's a, a simplified choice, then. Orbital solar panels is looking pretty good here, too. Just three free power for stuff that we make a lot of already, and we have a pretty good surplus of trade routes. So you're coming in here. Free ex reset all this. Free export, free export. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I explore, I can't afford to explore. I have no power. All right, turn that down by one, turn that up by one. And then export to power for now. We still need so much more power. But it's okay. It's not ideal, but it's okay. There's the support increase. We knew that was coming. I would love to take a development center so I can start taking more than one project. I would love to find a city location. It's not bad. It's got an anomaly. It's got a tritium hint. It's got this gigantic titanium next door. It could also be a dock city or a, a shipwright city, which would be really interesting because it's going to be coastal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like all of that. Reset these. You're going to be done next turn. We can do that, put everything else into your silicates, and then you have one free import. Spend it on science so you can get some of these projects cleared. Like, getting lightweight hull structures done would be nice. Megastructure design is kinda who cares. Development center would be nice to get down. I think we just want science imports right now. You're a water asteroid. I mean, it wouldn't be horrible. I don't think I want any of these buildings, though. So enable you. Reset you. 
do a bit of that, and then give me some of that to start working on that project before the asteroid leaves. Tell me how much tritium is over here. And then I do think we found. I think this is going to be a pretty good city spot. We also have a development center ready to go. Unfortunately, I don't think we've saved a spot for it. We really need this next city to go up. It's more important than I thought. Why don't you do this for now, because it's going to save us quite a bit of tritium on that. We'll get the development center next time it comes around. We're doing three science per turn, and we have the capacity to import like ten per turn. But I think the most important thing right now, given that we're out of hexes in both the cities we have right now, is to get another city up. So let's finish these space projects up, and then try and focus on that. I do take this. I just want one more food. And then we have two free imports. They should be water to get us closer to the next city. You're another city spot. You're not nearly as interesting, though. I'd rather have the anomaly than the fertile soil. I'm pretty sure. I could also just put a bus station here. It gets us that tile so we could build a bacteria spreader. It gets us that tile so that we could make a plant spreader. I don't know. Maybe it's not that important. A third bacteria spreader I can't really do right now. I would take a gas factory, I guess, because we're kind of approaching power surplus. I'd like to take a research center. None of the rest of these really speak to me that much, so I guess take the building that you can just build right now. That will finish next turn. Get some methanogenium down as well. Head down here into Misha Colony. Eventually this is going to get replaced by a power building, so I'm just going to put it somewhere... No, you know what? I'd rather explore. Save that for one turn. I'd rather explore tiles. And actually finding food there was huge. Because now we can do that. Three, four, eight. Next turn, if we explore a small hint of water like this, we can found our next city. This project finishes next turn, so actually we'll definitely have enough water. And then what's our dump stat these days? I don't want it to be silicates because I want to build another resonance station next time we see one. So it might actually be power. I know that power's been sparse, we haven't been able to use, explore, and study as much as we want, but we're making 10 per turn. It's really going to pick up. There's exactly what we were looking for. But I'd really like to take more than one of these. Is there any hint of science? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go like this. Okay, this is going to be a huge turn. We go like that. We go like this. We found a city. Sure. I guess, like... Here? No, that's not good. I guess, like, you'll be a lab. You'll be a lab. You'll be a lab. You'll be a university. We Actually, we do have a three arrangement here. So we could do, like, farm, farm, farm. And then I could do house, support house. It's just going to be a lot of power to blow through all of these rocks. But that's fine. And then delete you. Because I don't need the power so that I can put down you, so that I can take two projects. And one of them is you, for sure. And then the other one is probably just going to be another house, so I can keep support up. As much as I would like exploration satellites, I don't think they're super necessary here. And then you come out here and make a mine. You're also going to get a bus station here really soon, because bus station gets us here, bus station gets us here, bus station gets us out here. A bunch of stuff bus station accomplishes for us. You're at 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Free export. That builds a resonance station. What else do we need? Not a lot, really. I think we might just import 
science to get to a second bacteria spreader. And when I mean import science, I'm saying, like, we import every science. Because bus station we can build next turn natively. Actually. 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 10, 11. But where would it go? We should import power just so I can destroy all these rocks. We need to destroy so many rocks in that city. And then water is kind of our dump stat because we mined that asteroid. Who knows when we're going to need water again? Okay, good. Mustafa or Yolanda? We haven't really done landmark upgrades yet. Unity of the Land is really good. I wouldn't mind taking Unity of the Land just by itself. Kill your darlings isn't really going to pop off, and you don't super help with terraforming. Yeah, this could be a, a Yolanda game. I'd love to take another development center. I would love to take a Cloud Seeder maybe, but man, a second combined living center. I think I gotta do that instead. And then I would like to destroy you so that I can put down you. And then I'd like to put down you, but this is gonna drain our power out. Because I need all those rocks to go and I'd like you to go there. So it's going to happen next turn. In the meantime, I can get you down for a plus one power. Which isn't the best use of our silicates like immediately, but it'll be good use of our silicates in the future. And then I can unity the land here, so that when we build these two combined living centers, I can grab this tritium deposit, and I can grab that canyon view. And then we'll also Unity here, we'll Unity here, and we'll have a lot of extra expansion to play around with. So we don't need silicates anymore. What do we need? I'd like to just finish you. Just to get you out of my hand. So I guess we'll do that. We'll do one of these. We'll do some of that. Three of that. I really don't want to dump power yet. I guess we'll just keep dumping water. Okay, minus 39 support's pretty bad. We gotta start to think about our support income pretty soon. Give me exploration satellites and delivery drones. You can come over here. I'd rather build the bus station first, actually. Get me the sandstone. Get me the silicate deposit. Get this out of my hand, just so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Give me unity of the land here, and then we'll do it one more next turn. Why don't you finish that? Why don't you import food? Because we kind of start thinking about support pretty soon. And then, what do I want to import? Or ex what else do I want to export? I can just do like that. We got to work on our food. This is really important. This is sort of important. Can I have a big silicate hint, please? Yes, exactly you. Because then we can at least get something on this anomaly. And then I can put you here for some extra support. I can destroy these last two rocks. I can set up a sandstone tour, which sort of helps our support. And then I can overwrite you for an empty tile where a bacteria spreader can go soon. You're done next turn. I need to do that. Import one food. I also need a soil factory, like, really bad. Soil factory here would be really, really nice. And I'd like to get this little assembly off the ground as well. It's a question of when it's going to show up. So I think we've seen like one so far, and I just wasn't at a point where I was comfortable taking it. You matter. You might matter, but I also might throw you out. And then the unfortunate thing here is I need food and power, which are two things that you can't really find by just wandering around on the map. So why don't we do some stopgap support explorations? Just grabbing stuff that's nearby. 
why don't we funnel more resources into our radiation shield? Why don't we import another food and import two more food? Because I'm getting a little scared of our support. That matters. Do I have a good highland? No, I don't need power. I should not be looking at something like a photovoltaic field. A public baths could be pretty good. Like you're plus six support. You're five you're plus nine support. So this is just a direct upgrade over the entertainment center. There's not enough people living around here for that one to matter. I could also put it here, but like I just built that thing. I think this is okay. Water's kind of free for us right now. And then you've got a canyon. You're going to have a second canyon. And that's it. You have two comfort spots. You have one comfort spot, two comfort spots. It goes equally well in either of those cities, I would say. It is only a plus four, though. But then, like, you know, plus four is plus four. And then, I don't think I need the support this turn. Oh, I already did Unity three times. Okay, perfect. Then, yeah, give me the support this turn. You have anything interesting here? You have an anomaly spot. That's not game game changing for me. So I'd rather just do that. And then just keep taking more water. Keep taking more water. I don't think I need another landing pad. Just give me a bus station in case we found another city soon. 25, 29, 30. And then give me something like that so I can keep this water project running. We gotta find more titanium. We know where titanium is. But you know what I mean. I also need to pick up more robots. Well, no, I don't, because if I build a combined living center here, that's two expansion tiles. I could grab this, this, and this, and that'll be a little, a little extra uh, tritium. It'll be extra support from the canyon view. I think that'll be fine. I'm also at 18 tritium right now. It's good to know that I can spend that somewhat freely. I'm not going to do anything there don't really have any space for anything there. We should be thinking about where another city is going to go relatively soon. Not yet, but soon. Deimos could be another city relatively soon. It's an enormous amount of science and it's two titanium. That would be really interesting. I'll think about it. I can always come back to that project if I need to. Take a dock. This might be pretty easy to knock out with the amount of silicates that we produce right now. And then I'd like to explore titanium this turn so that I can build a combined living center. Perfect. You go here. You go here. You go here, even though it pains me to do so. We'll upgrade you here. I want a lot of people living here. In fact, instead of food, this might be three more houses and another support building. Just because people really like being underground. Protects them from radiation and all that. That's worth thinking about, for sure. Now, can I rebalance some of this? I think I could take a little bit of time off doing that. Why don't we do free exports? I really want to get this finished so that I can start planting trees. So it's going to look a little something like this. And then one of those, and then dump it. A 
gene vault is a little interesting, but I don't have space for it right now. Giant space bees are also pretty interesting, but I kind of need both the water projects. You know what? I don't need a planetary engineering lab. Give me the giant space bees instead. It wastes a single silicate, but we'll live. Actually, before you do that, can I explore for titanium anywhere? Can I just see a large titanium hint anywhere on this map? No. No, that's too much to ask, apparently. Give me a small titanium hint, then. Oh, and then you're done! Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, you're just, you're finished. That's great news. Can I get away with that? No, you cannot get away with that. It's going to be a while before I can build you and you, but it's high on my priority list because you're just more stuff that I could trade. And then you're not looking that bad of a city spot. It's a lot of empty tiles, which are going to be really valuable for us coming up to build all these spreader buildings. You might get founded. And I'll take another greenhouse. If you're going to get founded, then maybe I'm less worried about support than I need to be, and I can actually use you for fruit. Yeah, that seems fine. Done. This is the university that we wanted. It's not technically a university, but it's going to suit our purposes just fine. And then you should probably be taking terraforming buildings, even though we're so far off on water. But another development center is looking really attractive. No, I've got two bacteria spitters I should be building. I'll take you, and I don't know when I'm going to build you. But you'll be nice to have. So let's finish this up next. Let's start importing food, because we know we want to found another city. Five. Four. We're going to need to explore titanium again, and we actually happen to have found a giant deposit. That should be enough to keep that project running. It is. Then we can explore here for some extra water. That gets us ready on the waterfront to make a city. We just need the food, which we can put together relatively soon. Food, food, soil factory, lab, Lab, lab. There's space for a development center there. And then that city's done. Everything else is kind of spoken for. What else do I need in here? Just have one on hand, I guess. We can get more science for these bacteria spiders. I'm not worried about it. Give me herring. Give me another greenhouse. That's great. Give me a load balancing station. That's great. The rest of these can go. Do you have three mines? One, two, three... You have four mines. You could have five mines, so a load balancing station will make power. Enable you, that's a second flood. Reset you to free import. Let's get that taken care of. You come out here, we just need more food. We're making five per turn. That's a fine spot to be in. Let's get this spot ready to actually have a city founded on it. And then let's just keep collecting support. Feeling okay about this. We probably need to get plants started pretty soon. We can plant in Solus, we can plant in Noachus Major, we can plant in Noachus Minor. We should start saving up nitrates, is the point that I'm trying to get at. So why don't you stop? I know it's a free trade route, but... I think it's actually more important that we start hoarding nitrates right now. One power for every seven new expansion points you acquire. Not interested. Plus one trade route for every three population. The problem is that all of our hexes are like pretty badly spoken for right now. On the flip side, Plus six support per turn is pretty nice. Eureka is also pretty nice. Five extra projects is also pretty nice. I think we kind of got to go with that. Would love to take a robot hub. Would love to take another spaceport. And then we're going to explore with you. 
so we can see some extra stuff. I would love to take a tritium thermal generator, in fact. Is it more important than anything else here? Not really, but also I don't think we need the power. I just kind of, like, for completeness sake, I want to finish that out. So now, anytime we need to get rid of anything, we can get rid of power. Do that, import one of these, export one of those. 23, 24. Actually, take a turn off. 19, 24, 30. Do one of those. Use this free trade route to do one more of those. And then get rid of 9 power. Why? Because this lets us found a city next turn. This lets us build a plant spreader next turn if we explore nitrates. I think that's worth taking one turn off from Giant Space Mirrors. Support income is getting scary, but I think we might be able to outrun it at this point. There's the soil factory we've been waiting forever for. It's unfortunate you showed up when we want to build a plant spreader, but easy come, easy go, I suppose. And then I need to explore nitrates with this. Big nitrates, preferably. Like, you look perfect. And then I think I would take a robot hub over a quantum data center. So we come in here, found a city, sure. I like this configuration up here. We have enough power that we can just destroy every single one of these rocks. House, support, house. Some kind of configuration of buildings that have an adjacency bonus. Bus station to get you, you, and I don't think we need to harvest this black sand because heat's going to increase relatively soon anyway, which will melt the caps. So we'll just convert you to silicate so that we can finish the giant space mirrors faster. And then you, we will mine you because we can finish the water parameter with space projects. And then given how many empty tiles we have out here, like empty tile, empty tile, empty tile, empty tile, hopefully empty tile, if we see a gene vault show up, it's gonna go here. So let's start focusing all of our spreader buildings there. O2 is at level 0, heat is at level 1, but we're about to plant a lot of trees, which is going to improve our O2, so I would rather spread methanogenium. And then let's get some pine trees down. But we're not done yet. I want to get another one down. So I think we should keep importing nitrates. We can. We don't have to worry about food. Let's knock this project out. We'll just take a turn off to do that. Two turns off to do that, realistically. And then what are you? You're another city spot. So you are just an empty tile. Interesting. Very interesting. I want to start working my way up here to see if I can find a coastal city as well. Because I would love to get this electrolysis facility down, I would love to get a dock down, and I would love to just expand over the ocean a little bit. And then I need to throw something out. I think it's got to be one of you. I think we're past the point of bacteria in our lives. Beautiful. We already have one of you. I don't really need to grab another one. I don't want to spend my nitrates. I would like to explore here. Find me an interesting coastal city. Shipwright's huge. Lab is kind of interesting. But then an entertainment center is also kind of interesting. Because I don't think we have a support building that goes here right now. So why don't you just go there to augment the support a little bit. It's not coastal, which is unfortunate. You're not coastal, which is unfortunate. However, this is looking like a beautiful city spot. You might also be really good. You might also be really good. Gets us a titanium, gets us a water, gets us another water, gets us another titanium. That's going to be an interesting spot up there. You can come down here, because we're not really doing anything else with our science right now. Expand you for a little bit of support income. And then Robot Hub me as well, so that I can grab you for support, and I can grab you for future spreaders. 
You finish next turn. We'll do a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Start working on our water. Because we do need to get this to three at the difficulty level that we're at. Should also probably try and get you off the ground. And you're probably going to go here for a free tritium export, a free titanium export. Yeah, I think that's where you're going to go. Uh, yeah. And really, we're looking for another plant spreader, so I actively want to be exploring here. So that I can find... That's a city spot that's huge. Although I need a water project, too. Hold on. Increase heat. Solus is going to make it to 3 heat by default. We're looking for somewhere that's very rainy but very cold. You. And then that's also just plus 30 heat. We like that. We dump more titanium into you. You're a free trade route so that we can import nitrate so that we can see a plant spreader. We haven't, but we like taking a lab and we like taking a water project, especially one that costs tritium, because tritium's free for us with the projects that we have. The basically, it's not like, you know, literally free, but figuratively it's free. Need to turn you down just a little bit. And then we'll turn you up just a little bit. So what are we trying to do at this point? Well, we have 17 water. We could just build an oxygen factory. We probably should just build an oxygen factory. Get that to increment, because we are at oxygen zero. It's the furthest behind by far right now. But I think it's early enough that we can fix that. We just need to find plant spreaders. And then after that... It would be nice to get this research campus down. I don't exactly know what we'd spend the science on. I really think we just need to found another city up here in Arabia, and we just need to get it off the ground. It might end up being you, even though you're a flat plain spot. Because I want this, 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 and also I want like a dock here. We'll see if we can manifest that. Give me kelp forest. O2 is increased. I don't really know about any of those right now. It's coastal, but it's also sandstone. That's a little unfortunate. What are you? You're also sandstone, I think. A water project. I don't think we're going to need it. Because this is 90. That'll put us at 94. We can just breach an aquifer to get to 96. We don't actually need to take water projects anymore. What do we need to take instead? Support buildings. You just need to take support buildings. Like, your support, your support. I'm not going to build you anytime soon. You might just end up taking a science on that one. You're going to come down here. This is another lab. You flood. Interesting. So this could be a shipwright city. Duly noted. I don't think we can do anything else with that right now. Support has increased again. It's okay. We'll survive. This city is now ready to be found. Holy cow. Alright, so you're ready to be founded, and in two turns we'll be able to found and find you. What do I want to do with you after that, though? So, like, you we want to save for a new city. You and you... You, actually, you should probably, like, go over here. There's so many mines in Misha Colony. I don't know. It's all pretty complicated right now. <laughs> Just... Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. What I'm looking for, like, in the near term is nitrates, because I know hypothetically that plant spreaders exist. I just can't find them. So why don't you give me nitrates? Why don't you give me atmosphere? Uh, 
Ah, I don't know about all that. That's too many decisions to make. A very audiobook sounding voice. I'm going to take that as a compliment. That sounds complimentary to me. I don't know where you fit. Hey, maybe you just like fit here and not many people live in this city and that's fine. And then we're at 25 signs. Ah, why don't you come in here too? What's the worst that could happen? Next turn we found you. No, two turns from now we found you. We could find you next turn if we wanted to. Do we want to? 26, 28, 30. Export four. So next turn we can found. And that's fine. Is this whole planet mine? Uh, sort of. It's there, it's not like competitive. It's not like me versus other people who are also trying to claim the planet. It's me versus the environment. All the stuff that's connected with colored lines is explicitly mine, but I'm not like competing with anyone else for resources or anything like that. It's a um, it's like a an economy engine game where you're trying to construct a series of buildings that all work towards a particular task. Do I just put you down right now? Do I need the power in silicates? No. Yeah, so you just get put down right now. End turn. Plant spreader. Good. Okay, let's solve the rest of these problems after we found a city. You can just come here. It really does not matter that much. Heat's good. Atmosphere's good. Polar ice caps melted. It's all popping off. Give me this titanium mine. Next, I think I want a robot hub. I would love to find a large hint of titanium. Yeah, like right here. Grab you. We don't need water anymore. We can ignore it. I don't think we're going to need a hyperloop. We can ignore it. I would take a robot hub. And I guess I would take like an entertainment center. The only way we lose this game is to support right now. So we should probably make sure that we're maintaining support long enough to win. And then reset all of this and let me think for a minute. That's definitely a free export. We should build a spaceport here. So I think we should really start trying to get this spaceport up and off the ground. We're at 6, 9, 12, 15. Put one more towards getting water in. And then eight exports. It's all going to be power, obviously. It's, um... How to explain terraformers? It's a game about terraforming Mars. But there are different goal states in the game that you have to pursue. So the one that we're doing right now is very explicitly, you win if you do all of these things. You get temperature to three, oxygen to three, ocean to three, atmosphere to three. And you can see our progress on all of those things over here on these bars. But there's different paths that you can play in the game. So one of them is like uh, an industry path where you can still terraform in the planet and terraforming the planet is useful. But your explicit goal for actually winning is generating a specific amount of resources. There is a scenario where your explicit goal is to control a certain amount of map tiles, and that's the way that you win. So it just so happens that for this game, we're doing the explicit terraforming path, but that's not the only thing that the game will ask you to do in order to win. There's different ways that you can win based on the kind of game that you're playing at a given time. And as far as how you actually achieve that, I don't think I want any of this. Two atmosphere? No, I don't think I want any of this. Well, actually, that's free. Uh, there's a couple... You lose, for sure, if this number ever gets to zero. So there's people living on Mars. If people get mad at you, then you lose. And the longer the game goes on, the more upset people get about just random stuff. So you're kind of racing against an in-game clock that's gradually incrementing up in terms of how much happiness people expect to have. 
it's really the only way you lose, is if this number gets to zero. But you also get a series of bonuses based on how quickly you can finish a level, with 65 being like the absolute fastest you can do anything. So really what we're trying to do here is win before turn 65. I don't... I mean, this would be fine, actually, maybe. Like, anytime you do anything, get support. We're kind of over space projects. We're not doing animals yet. I do think I take technologies A. I don't want any of those right now, so let's see what comes up in the exploration. Now do I want any of these? Hey, yeah, it's a good house. I don't think I need a train station at this point. What I would like is two more titanium, though. Because then I can build a mine there. What I would really like is I just want to finish flooding the planet. So give me like that, and then turn this down by one, turn that up by one. I It keeps us from... No, we have the spaceport down already. What am I talking about? Reset all these. Two free exports. Two free imports. Finish this project. Finish this project. And save your nitrates, because we really need this plant spreader to come down. We should be prioritizing that more heavily than we currently are. Entertainment center can probably just go up here. And then I think we're kind of fine. Like, we're just banking science to finish these projects up for now. And I can still research a project. I don't want any of these. Yeah, don't want any of those. Just turn it into more science. And then next turn we can build consumer goods production. Get one more card out of our hand. Asteroid lab? No. Yes. Yes, and then as soon as you're done, that will be max water level. Start working on that. You're an interesting beach. These are going to be coastal at flood level 3. I need to build a robot hub here and a bus station, because I want both of these tiles to build beach resorts on, because Arabia is hot. So we'll get 15, and then another 15 support out of these. Each of these are 30 support. That's an enormous number. So let's make sure we get that taken care of. In fact, like we also want this tile. We probably are also going to want one of these tiles, and maybe that tile. I gotta take any robot hub I see for like the next couple turns. Would really appreciate a couple tiles. You're also kind of interesting. But I don't think I necessarily need to take you. Can't take you. I need the nitrates for the plant spreader instead. Don't need a dock. Have one in hand already. A skyscraper would be kind of interesting. Our food production isn't where it needs to be to actually get one down, though. But I guess, like, what's the harm in taking one? No harm in taking one. And I don't think I can build a ship right here, because it's not actually coastal yet. It's not. I have to wait one more turn for that. So I need to throw something out of my hand. You're never getting built. Let's be realistic. We don't need that much science. You can just go. I can get... This is actually... It's not too late for that to be good. I think it's too late for that to be good. So we're going to go ahead and take Deja. Alternative space materials is, like, fine. Tourism's fine. Neither of these we're going to use at all, and food boost is not that good. It's an easy choice. Jealous of that flooring and the brick wall in the background? Do I have a story to tell you about this flooring? <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, when Amanda and I first move into this place, I've got pictures that I can probably share with you in DMs if you remind me. When we moved into this place, it was all carpeted, and it was not carpeted well. It was like ugly, water damage, water stained carpeting, and it was like very high on our list of this is something that needs to get fixed like as soon as we move in. Uh, my tritium? Hold on, I gotta go find tritium quick. 
So it was it was a thing that we definitely knew we wanted to have fixed. This is house. So it's it's a thing that we actually had control over. Catch my ass paying like $15,000 to install a hardwood floor in a building that a landlord owns? I don't think so. But it was it was high on our list of things that we knew we wanted to fix. So this was like post COVID when lumber prices were insane. And Amanda was poking around on Facebook Marketplace and found a guy in a location near where we live. Because I need to remember to like not, you know, dox myself by telling a story. Um, who was renovating his parents' house and was throwing out their old hardwood floors. Or not throwing out, but like was selling his parents' old hardwood floors. So we got in touch with him and we were like, hey, you know, we're interested in buying this. It's like 500 square foot of white oak floorboards that his parents had installed in their house like in the 50s. So it's antique hardwood, basically. Uh, rented a U-Haul truck, loaded all of it up, spent something like a week and a half cleaning all the boards up because they're like filthy dirty from accumulating 70 years of dirt. Uh, cleaned them all up in our backyard, you know, sprayed them all down, had to take all of the nails out by hand because they had all these, you know, flooring nails driven into them. And then uh, found some guys to come over and do the installation. Like a, a team of like five or six, like, guys who run a construction business. Yeah, just Amanda and I uninstalling all of these nails and stuff. But they came in, they installed all the boards, yeah, it's it's stained and everything. I can actually, as soon as I finish this game, I can I can show you the floor quick. It might be a little dusty because I don't think we've cleaned up here that recently. But yeah, it was it was white oak. We stained it. Well, they stained it. They did all of like the the sanding, all that kind of stuff. They also did uh, the stairwell because the stairwell was also carpeted, so the stairwell is hardwood as well. And it's just a, it's a really nice home office now. It's a great place to just, like, get shit done during the day. It's up on the top floor of the house. You don't get a ton of street noise up here. It's just nice. I, I like it a lot. And it, it makes for a good backdrop as well, for sure. I don't know where I'm going. I guess here. Because I want to get this other electrolysis facility down. And then how are we looking on terraforming parameters? Oxygen is a huge issue. Heat's probably going to be fine. I need to figure out how oxygen is going to be fine. It probably all comes down to nitrates and getting more plant spreaders installed. Temperate rainforest isn't going to do it, but like I guess I'll take it. Like I guess I take you. I guess I take you. House the brick wall's original. House had the brick wall. That's an involved construction task to get added. And we've actually, like... I'm not done with my PhD yet. Amanda is not done with her postdoc yet. So we both know that this isn't really, like, going to be our forever home. We're probably only going to be here for a couple more years, and then we're going to move somewhere else, depending on, you know, what the job market looks like. But we're so... scared to do any kind of mounting to the brick wall at all because like once you put a stud in a brick wall you have irrevocably damaged that brick wall so as nice as it would be like i've got so much art that i could put up in the background of like different magic prints that i've accumulated um a friend of ours is like a painter she's done some character art of like my guild wars characters that i've gotten for christmases and stuff like that i would love to have that up on the back wall but I don't want to mount anything in the brick, because once you drive a nail into it, it's damaged forever, man. It's complicated. Uh, PhD in education. Not as someone who's going to like teach in a classroom. It is it's like a it's a PhD in data science, and it just so happens that the data is educational data. Is the easiest way to explain it. Support is a nightmare. But I think we'll be okay. I gotta do the stuff that gives two oxygen. 
I think we might be okay. They do, they make special hooks, and you can also drill into the mortar, and you can get like mortar fill, but it's just like a lot of work when instead I could not do it, and then when people ask, I'd, I could be like, yeah, I don't, I'm worried about like drilling into the mortar or whatever. It's a convenient excuse for laziness, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up, Nancy? How you doing? A second temperate rainforest? You shouldn't have. No, I can't afford to do that. I actually need the, the oxygen from these is so much more important than the support. Like, the support is fine. The oxygen is what we really need. So at 10 per turn, I still need to get that up by like 3 or 4. I think you need to go. I think we just need to double down on nitrates. I think we need to double down on nitrates. All of our food is going to go into combined living centers just to keep our support up. But the only thing we lose to right now is not finishing oxygen fast enough. So let's keep that focused. None of these make oxygen. Throw them all out. Uh, I'm from the east coast of the United States. A dock is interesting, an animal spreader is interesting, but none of them are oxygen. So we'll take one, we'll throw out the rest. We'll build a satellite. We're really not looking for anything here. But we'll know it when we find it. This is a little... a little speculative. Whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, and then I can also get a shipwright down by you. So that I can finally get this gigantic titanium mine. Which of the 13 colonies? Um, yeah, it's not super identifying. I am from Pennsylvania. I live in like one of the... Pittsburgh, Philly, Allentown, Harrisburg. I live in like one of the four cities, sorry, five cities, because people also know Scranton from the office, I guess. I live in one of the five cities in Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania, that you would expect people to know. There's not like a ton of them. <laughs> I think I still need nitrates. I just keep putting everything into nitrates. We're not going to lose this game to support. We're like 15, 16 turns away from losing to support. We just need oxygen. We have enough oxygen in 10 turns. I need to find anything that gives me oxygen in like the next four turns. Otherwise, we're going to win this game on like turn 67. Every other terraforming parameter is totally fine. That's true, yeah, Hershey's in Pennsylvania. So there's like six places in Pennsylvania that people know. I guess maybe also like if you went to Penn State, you would know that College Station is in Pennsylvania. So maybe it's like seven. I don't know. There's more places in Pennsylvania than I thought, I guess. All right. I need more than anything else a plant spreader to show up in like two turns. These aren't it. Bacteria might help. That might change the calculus enough, actually. When's our next plant spreader up? Seven and eight? That's not going to be good enough. No, I think we're just waiting. I'm like, I could build stuff in my hand, but none of it is more important than just getting oxygen. We're gonna stay in Penn after graduate or move. It's complicated because like for academic jobs, for Amanda's academic jobs, because Amanda actually wants to stay in academia. I'm like, it, get me out of this place. I'll just go corporate. I have more flexibility to work remote than she does. 
because there's more industry positions that are remote than academic positions. So the way it's probably going to work out is that we've got an unfortunately ever expanding list of states in the US that we aren't comfortable raising a family in due to things like, you know, restrictive abortion laws, stances on gun control, overall livability, vulnerability to climate change in like the next 20 to 30 years, all that kind of stuff. Which isn't like, oh, I would, you know, never move to, I don't know, Mississippi. But if there's a tenure track job that comes up in Mississippi, given the political environment around how education is treated in a lot of southern states, it had better be like a damn good tenure offer to get us to, to move out there. So the way that it probably is going to happen is it's if she finds the right position she kind of has to take it because there's more restrictive criteria on places where she can work than places where I can work. And then I would just move and make sure that we buy a house with like a decent home office setup because I would be doing a lot of work from home. So it's not like, you know, horrible, but it's, it's unfortunately a difficult time to be an educator in the current United States political climate. It's a really hard time to be an educator in the current political climate. Beautiful. I think it might be too late for you, though. No, it's not. We're fine, actually. This is fine. We're, we're good on the timer. I think we've actually just won. Yeah, don't worry about that. You make atmosphere and oxygen, but you make atmosphere and oxygen. And you give us support. Uh, 13 and 5 is 66? Yeah, that puts us well over. We're fine. We just have to click enter in like four more times. And then we're in great shape. That was almost a little scary. Hey, you, you were so late. You don't know how late you are to this party. I guess we take a space project that gives us trade routes. Yeah, and like that's the problem, you know, is that it's the way that the voucher system is played out and the way that the politicization of public school curricula has played out means that despite the fact that you may have strong beliefs in the importance and validity of getting a public education, it has been systematically dismantled as an educational institution over the course of like the last 15 years. And if you're interested in like making sure that your child actually gets a good education, you either need to do a lot of supplemental homeschooling work. I'm not saying like take your child fully homeschooled, but understand that when your kid comes home from school at 3 p.m., there's probably a lot of stuff that they're still missing out on that you would rather have them know if you're preparing them to be, you know, a, a functioning member of society. Not necessarily prepare them for a career, but like to know things that are important about the history of the modern world. You're you're basically saying that like you understand that there's going to be a lot of extra work that you're going to need to do as a parent to prepare your child. And I don't know, like maybe that's okay. It's, it's the role that a parent should have in their child's ed education is they should go like, yeah, I'm going to be involved in this process as well and I'm not going to treat public school like, you know, an eight-hour daycare. But at the same time, it's like it would be nice if the public school system could pick up a bit of slack on that equation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It would be nice if... I was doing extra work because I thought it was important rather than I'm doing extra work because I literally have to, otherwise my child is going to be 19 and believe in young earth creationism and that humans lived alongside dinosaurs. That's not like the ideal setup for where I'd like my child to be educationally. Anyway, I think we win next turn. 96? Yeah, we win next turn. Doesn't matter. 
bank it. Mission success. Beautiful weekly. Back to back wins on Mastery 28 or whatever the hell we're on. Anthony, as interesting as this conversation is, I actually like, I'm interested enough in talking about education that if I didn't have a hard stop for a meeting at 3 p.m., I would actually just play another game so we could keep talking about it. But I've got a meeting at 3 in like 45 minutes, so I actually do need to stop here, unfortunately. You should hit me up in DMs, though, and chat about some of that kind of stuff. Because from a homeschooling perspective, there's a lot of educational work that I do that is like supplemental curricula for uh, informal spaces, things like museums, things like homeschooling stuff that parents just want to do with their kids, I could send you some stuff that you might think is pretty interesting. So you should hit me up on that if any of that sounds interesting. But for now, it was always going to be a short one, and that's where we're going to be done for today. So the Discord is the best way to keep in touch on when I'm going live. It's a really unpredictable schedule with the, the way that my personal life just shakes out sometimes. The Discord is the best way to know when we're going to be going live on a relatively sporadic schedule. And then there's also the VODs channel if you're like, whoa, Terraformers looks interesting. I'd like to see some of that stuff that happened in the past. I'll be back tomorrow for commanding, 10 p.m. Eastern, Guild Wars 2. And then depending on how these dissertation edits with my advisor shake out over the weekend, I think I might have some time to stream on Sunday. We'll see how it plays out. That's not like a binding agreement or anything like that, but I think I can find the time to do something on Sunday. So TBD what that actually winds up being, but I'll catch you guys around for that if you're around. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your week, have a good weekend, and I'll see you around next time. Take care, have a good one.